What is your full lineup? And it was Dickinson who got a good start. He clattered a hurdle, though. Brit's running incredibly well. Well, it looks like it's Brit, but who's this in lane two? Eric Edwards is running well. Oh, it's Edwards in two. But it was Jamal Brit out in lane six, I think. But it was Jamal Brit in lane six. Looked like he took the win. It was under 13 seconds. And then 400 meters. This man will need no introduction, Stephen Gardner. So a good start in the men's 400 meters. Hester, no Kevin Hawley in lane seven. Stephen Gardner, who looks like he's gone through the halfway point first. Damish Gay from Jamaica, that high step in lane three. He just looks supreme, doesn't he, Stephen Gardner? There's a reason why he's the Olympic champion. There's a reason why he's won the world championships previously. And look at him now, just coasting in, moving away from the field with every meter now, going towards the finish. And 44-43, that's a pretty swift opener for Steven Gardner. Just rounded down by 100 per second, 44-42. Only four men in the world so far who have run faster than that sort of time. Just looking out a few athletes there. Tamara Davis, she goes in lane four. So it was Davis who got a good start. Briscoe is going well on her outside, but it is Davis. She was expected to take the win here. She breaks the tape literally. I'm excited with that, 10.91 seconds. I saw on the scoreboard in the infield, it was exactly plus two meters per second. So that will be legal. There won't be a small W next to that time. Let's watch again. It was a good start, but it wasn't a bullet start. She just puts a nice race together. All eyes on Abby Steiner. She goes in lane six. Got a couple of non-starters, but here we go. Here she goes into the home stretch. Strachan's running well on her outside, but it is Steiner pulling away from the rest of the field. Steiner from Strachan. 22.02 seconds. Plus 3.1 meter per second following wind. But that was an impressive win by fifth placer in the World Championships last year, Abby Steiner. I am. I think the most important thing is, uh, we were talking about this this week, is to remind yourself that everyone else in the race is also feeling nervous and excited and all those emotions, and there are people too. Um, so just managing that, leaning on the people in my corner, shutting out the noise and focusing on what I need to do. But what about this man, Christian Coleman? world champion over the short sprint in 2019. So they're away. Coleman is out well. Blake in those bright yellow socks is running well. Oh, but it was Coleman who took it. Lyles was absolutely motoring towards the finish, wasn't he? 9.78. That was plus 4.4 meters per second, and that's how much it meant to Christian Coleman. Take us inside the mindset, really the minute details, because you know you have Noah Lyles next to you, and the matchup was there. What were you thinking about as you were executing, especially the last 10, 15 meters? Right. I mean, it's cliche, but just stay in my lanes. Yeah. You know, just execute everything that me and my coach work on, execute my phases, and I knew I'd be hard to be if I do that. Jasmine Camacho Quinn, there she is. She's back again this year. She won it last year. Camacho Quinn is coming now. Camacho Quinn is so, so powerful. So, so fast over those barriers. But that is one of the fastest times ever recorded. The last four hurdles or so, where Camacho Quinn, she almost gets up to full momentum. What was that like? Um, I mean, of course, the weight, when I heard the time, I was just like, what was the win? Is it legal? <laughs> but, um, I mean, I'll take it, honestly. Um, I think, I, I mean, I still have more to improve on in the race. I know where exactly I messed up, but um, I'm very, 
Very grateful to get another win. Davis Woodall would have to go in excess of 7.04 to get the victory right in the death of this competition. Well, the crowd are getting behind Davis Woodall. This is her last attempt to upset the party. She looks very happy with herself. Any athlete who has jumped in excess of seven meters twice in one day should be pleased with herself. What is it? What is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's gone and won it, hasn't she? Well, my computer system is updating for the women. It is seven meters 11. What about that? Wow. Take us back to that last jump. Yes, I was sitting second by one centimeter, and I told myself to remember your training, focus, and whatever happens, happens. And I did just that. And, you know, I took my time in the back, I got in my rhythm, and I just focused on everything that we've done at practice. And as you were executing that jump, and then you look at the result, then your response to the crowd, just the moment that you just seemed to love. Yes, um, it's a season's best. Not only is this a season's best, but I won. So, um, Quinesha and I, we're good rivals. You know, I put it out there on the internet, you know, 1v1 right now. I got into Bermuda to show this 1v1. I got eyes to the sport, and that's all I could have asked for.